First to a man who I think it's fair to say knows a thing or two about business. When he was president of John Hancock in 99, it was named one of the 100 most powerful brands of the 20th century. Following year, he was named chairman and CEO. And although Boston's famous Hancock Tower no longer bears the name, to me, Boston Garden is still Boston Garden. And the Hancock Tower will remain just that welcome David D'Alessandro. Tell me you don't call it 200 Clarendon. Is that true? No, I still call it the Hancock Tower. Fine, okay, sure. then we can continue. Sure. Uh, GE comes to town. Yeah. Conventional wisdom is 125 million plus in incentives from the city and state yeah. were what did the trick. You buying or no? I don't buy that at all. I mean, if you if you take a hard look at General Electric, uh, 160 billion in revenue, 150 billion in revenue, 18 billion in in profit. Uh, I, I bet any state in the country would have offered 150 million dollars. But Jeff Emil didn't decide to move to Nebraska. Why did he decide to move here if it wasn't for the money? You moon? know, I heard a lot of, um, I, actually on your show last week, I, I listened to some people. I don't think he came here because of the technology issues, as some people think. The reason a CEO moves is you move for the people. The people you have, the employees you have, what's, what's their lifestyle going to be? What, what is the education system going to be? Can I attract the best and the brightest to this community? Mm -hmm. And can I take from the university systems and the technology companies that are here, can I take the people? This is about people. Uh, people don't understand this. General Electric um, made most of its money for many years off its financial services, right. not off appliances right, and aerospace. Right, right. Now they're moving to this, this new world. It's all about the people. So does this mean that if we hadn't offered them the 125 million plus, you think they'd still be here? No, I think they wouldn't come because they needed a sign of goodwill. It's, it's, it's simply a, a token of goodwill to them. It's a large token. Is it this is. as big a deal for Boston as the promoters of this say, that all these other oh. companies are going to look? I mean, look, uh, Hancock's now, yeah. where is it, in Canada? No, we're, we're, uh, they're Bank in, of they're actually in Southie. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, but, yeah. but is it as big a deal having this, this what is yeah. it, number eight on the Fortune yeah. 500 coming to town? Yeah. You have to think of it as if they're the anchor in a mall. You need to have the anchor store in the mall in order to attract the others. And we will attract more now, and I think that's going to be great for the city. You know what I read today? One of the most powerful pieces I've ever read about gambling was written by you mm. 12, yeah. 13 years ago yeah. on The Globe about your father who yes. had a gambling addiction. Yeah. So I yeah. know the context for this yeah. question. Bruce Mullen, Commonwealth Magazine, wrote a great little piece a couple of weeks mm. ago. Steve Wynn wants to come to town, and he is reviled. I mean, he is sued mm -hmm. left and right. He's going to bring 4,000 jobs to Greater Boston. Uh, uh, he's going to pay 25% of his revenue in taxes. GE, for the most part, doesn't pay taxes. They're only bringing 800 people. We give them a red carpet that is that has gold lame on the side. How do you explain Because the Wynn's not going to attract other companies to come here. Wynn will suck a lot of money out of the town. An example, General Electric in the state of Connecticut last year spent $14 billion on vendors and services mm -hmm from Connecticut. Wynn is going to take more money from the town than he's ever going to give back. And you, you have to look at it. Wynn's not going to attract new companies to come here. So um, it, it's apples and oranges uh, and, and not really a, a good comparison. But I, I want to point out that the same people that complained about, oh, you know, Digital's going, you know, going out of business. Wang's going out of business. Prime's going out of business. Um, Fleet's left town. Gillette's left town. Same people complaining about GE coming to town. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you mean about the tax thing? Yeah. I'm one of the complainers, yeah, so uh, I, know. I am guilty. Thank you very much. You know, can we switch to the sure. tea? People may not remember, yeah. 2009, you were appointed by yeah. Deval Patrick to yes. do this stem to stern yeah. kind of thing. Uh, look at the whole mess, and it was a mess. You said it was unsafe in addition yes. to a fiscal disaster. You were then quoted uh, in February of 2015 in The Globe saying, it's about DeLeo, meaning the speaker. It's about every yeah. speaker and Senate president who have played this game for 25 years called kick the can. New governor, mm -hmm. legislature has essentially given him what he wanted on a lot of the things. Have they stopped kicking the can? Are we finally on the road well, to I, I, fixing I, yeah. this mess? I, I think we're on the road to fixing it. I think it's going to take a very long time. I think it's going to take... A long plan, it's going to go well beyond Charlie Baker's years, but at least he's taking the responsibility. Now, the legislature, they're giving him what, what he wants at this stage because they're afraid of it, because they don't understand the T, and they want, you know, I don't think they hope that he fails, but they don't want to be close to it should he fail. And I think what you're going to see is I think we're going to have a much more successful T over time. It'll have problems because there are a lot of critics, but it's going to take a lot more money 
and a lot more patience. A lot more money. Uh, you think they, they need to raise taxes. Charlie Baker does not. Does he have a, does he have a chance of fixing this mess without yeah, new tax revenue? I think it's going to be very tough uh, without a gas tax or something. But on the other hand, um, I'll tell you why I think really getting away scot-free on the T. I'm dying to hear. Okay. Uh, I believe that the university systems, uh, the hospitals, the uh, big corporations in town um, that all benefit, and particularly the developers. You want to build a building? You want, you want uh, 30 stories? They should help subsidize the They should help subsidize the operations of TV. We have... Well, that's what's being discussed vis-a-vis yeah. -vis this Green Line disaster, yeah. is them yeah. buying in the deal with some of the freight. Yeah. And, but I think it should be, you look at the whole system. Everyone benefits from it. The hospitals want to increase their, their, uh, their space, and the universities are building like crazy. One last thing about this. Yeah. Uh, the, when you're about to raise taxes in the legislature, what you pray for is people like you, business people, to provide cover. Because if business people, well, business people, a bipartisan business-led coalition, former head yeah. of the Mass Taxpayers Foundation, yeah. a few years ago says raise the gas tax double digits. Yeah. They had all the cover in the world. The legislature didn't take it. They raised it a measly three cents and an index inflation, which was yeah. repealed. Yeah. Why didn't they take what the business community was giving them? They know what a mess the tea is. Yeah, be because they want to be legislators for life. As long as you want legislators for life in this state, you will end up having, having them push down on taxes whenever they can. Yeah, but see, I think their yeah. calculation when they vote no is that bridge, that whatever, is not going to collapse while I'm here. Well, the T has collapsed yeah. while they're yeah. there, and it yeah. still hasn't moved them. Yeah. Okay, can we talk about yeah, one sure. other tax before you go? I don't know if sure. you're still subject to this thing. Yeah. I know you're not, well, whatever. Millionaire's tax. Yeah. If you make more, look at the smile. Yeah. If you make more than a million dollars and the Constitution is amended, your taxes, state taxes go up 4%. Right. All the money goes to education and transportation, right. even though the Secretary of Education yeah. says it's a horrible idea, it's bad for the economy. Others say it's going to drive people like you out of town. Which side do you on and why? Well, I don't think it'll drive a lot of people out of town. Uh, and But I do think... If you want more GEs to come to this town, I bet Jeff Immelt would have a very hard time saying to his top people, probably he has 50 of them make over a million dollars a year, maybe 100. I'm going to move you someplace where your taxes are going to go to 9%. I think if you want the economy to grow by attracting companies and, and high-end um, uh, executives here, that would be a mistake. Yeah, but wait a second. Don't they care more about that billion and a half dollars going to make sure mass transit works and the schools produce smart young kids who can work for them uh, than a couple of bucks? Yeah, but you're talking about personal emotions here. That we you are. Know, you're talking about 4%. You know, so I've got to, you know, this guy's got to spend $40,000 more to move here. I think that's not going to happen. You're voting no? I'm voting no. Nice to see you Good there, to see you. Sandra. Pleasure. Thanks.